I've been going to hardcore shows since I was 13, I'd say. There's a lot of movement. It's violent. It's, it looks like chaos. Behind that, you know, there's etiquettes, there's people treating each other equally. Someone will get like hit, but everyone takes note. I found out that the hardcore community in itself is very open. Anyone's welcome. Definitely, you know, come along to a show, see if you like it. Hardcore is not only just a genre, it's also a family. I'm Andy, I am the vocalist from Crosscheck. We started middle of 2019. It was kind of an idea between me and George, our drummer. We'd been trying to find a guitarist forever, and it was like starting to annoy us, me and Andy. I'm like, we just need a guitarist. Yeah, we definitely struggled to start it, and got very lucky when we found Chris, and it all kind of fitted together, and it must have been the last couple of years for us. George um, just like messaged me on like Instagram, and he's like, hey, uh, you know, starting a hardcore band, like, do you want to come play guitar? It's going to be like, you know, turnstile and stuff. And I was just like, yeah, that sounds sick. Yeah, we all just kind of like clicked, like during that jam and stuff. And, you know, we started um, we started writing stuff. I think the first song we wrote was Minor Penalty. And then, yeah, just like kept building and building. And that. My name is Sean Doss and I play bass for Crosscheck. The way I got into Crosscheck was, um, yeah, Chris just like, met, like, hit me up a messenger because we've been talking for like months about trying to start something, like start a band. Like their bass player just had like left and I guess I was like, it could be fun. I've never played in a hardcore band before, so. I remember the first like Crosscheck rehearsal, Sean comes in and we're like, okay, what? What do you want to play oh. first? And he's just like, I'm gonna play the song that starts with bass first. So it was just like, all right, you're sick, awesome, nails the song. And like, it was literally after that like first song. I think like, you know, I'm like I myself. I was like, yeah, cross checks found our new bassist. It's definitely easier coming from like playing in like bands that had longer songs, you know, to go into like a band that like the total set list is like under 15 minutes, you know. My first uh, cross-check gig, or hardcore gig, midway through like the first song, I was like, well, this is really fast. Why, oh, yeah. <laughs> why weren't we rehearsing this fast in, you know, rehearsal? The general like cross-check rehearsal, you know, we just kind of go through the songs, and then when we actually play it live, like, <laughs> Well, I soon recognise it's just a jungle. But um, yeah, and then seeing just, you know, the, the crowd interactions and, you know, seeing dudes just, you know, throwing fists and stuff, you know. I was like, oh wow, this is really hectic. So we played a show and just midway through the first song, uh, this guy just got yeah. Did he get like, he got like... He got, he got uh, like, he, he, he got laid out. We played like our second song, and usually like, we would go straight into the third one. And I was like about to, and I have like looked at George, and George is just going, dude, nah, like, yeah. <laughs> someone's hurt. But I'm not that type of person, obviously, like smoshing. It's, um, it's kind of a dangerous game, so I stay well out. I don't want to get hurt. I've seen people get hurt, but I stay out of it. I just like to observe from the back, and that's my thing, so be there for the music but I understand that's what people like to do, so yeah, just not for me, so. Someone will get like hit, but everyone takes a note. Everyone's like, well, okay, like, you know, let's like make sure this person's okay first. Yeah. Cause like, no one wants to go to a, no one wants to go to a show and like, you know, feel unsafe. 
have I ever felt unsafe at a hardcore show? No, not me. There's probably a lot of females, unfortunately, that do. It's something that's kind of plagued the hardcore community. The last 10 years, we've been trying to break that wall down. I think we're just doing our best now to rid the scene of that and make sure that the place is safe for everyone. The hardcore scene at the moment, especially in Australia, is just, it's going crazy. We've got a bright future, like we've got bands like Speed going over to US now. And there's a lot of new bands coming through. There's a lot of kids that you've never seen playing bands coming through that are doing really good things. So, and back to my last point is a lot of females and like non-binary people that are coming through in hardcore bands now, which is probably yeah, one of the most warming things to see, but finally that's kind of breaking through. Yo, wash out! Get out of my face! You better step back! Run your place! You're fighting! You're fighting! Uh, so, my name is Justin, and I'm the recording engineer for Crush X's upcoming EP. So today we've just been focusing on drums mostly. Uh, this morning we recorded all of George's drum takes for all three songs. And now, well, and we're also focusing on Andy's vocals. Chris and I have been best friends since high school. Um, we've known each other since year eight. So I've pretty much been with them almost day one since they started gigging. Uh, I played in a lot of hardcore bands, a lot of punk bands. Hardcore is not only just a genre, it's also a family. You meet so many new people out of it and it's just a community of just lovely people and it's all come together from our love for this one genre of music.